Hey everyone, so I want to just take you through a quick um, tutorial video for how you actually make a square in Scratch. So um, I already posted already the um, breakdown and the layout of how Scratch actually works and navigates, but just so you know where this little sprite here, and that's what it's called, um, the cat, it can move around uh, on the stage. And this is where basically all the action happens. Now these individual blocks in the middle here, we're just going to call these uh, all drawers, um, and they're color coded. They fit in like puzzle pieces. Um, they snap together, and they're red from top down, uh, vertical down. And we're just going to actually code a square now, just to see um, what happens in case you're having issues. So I'm going to drag my blocks onto over the scripts page on the other side here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on the events tab. And then when my green flag is clicked, I'm going to drag it over onto my scripts page. Now in this particular case, what I might do is I'm going to grab my green pen block and I'm going to scroll down to um, set pen size. And you can interchange this and I'm going to make mine uh, five. And I can change my pen color if I want, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pen down and really think of this like a virtual pen. You have to give a command in order to draw a shape. So we're trying to make a 2D shape here. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to use my um, control block and I'm going to grab the second block in which is repeat 10 and what I'll do is then I will click on my blue motion block and grab move 10 steps but instead of step 10 I'm going to use a bigger number so I'm going to use 100 and in order to complete a square, I'm also going to have to turn. So I'm going to turn right, and notice the arrow. Instead of 15 degrees, I'm going to change this to 90 degrees. Now, I don't want to repeat this loop uh, 10 times. I want to repeat it four times. And now let's just run our program and see what happens. So when I click the green flag to run our program, you'll see that it makes a square. But it does so really, really quick. Now, another great tip is you can take this pen block and you could clear it right after, but I just like when I'm uh, going through the code initially just to have a clear block to separate, and I actually just like to double click on it and it'll actually remove the pen markings. Now what I wanna do to slow down this transition is I'm gonna go to my control block and grab the wait one second block and, enter, and insert it between the move and turn blocks. This way, when I now run my program, you can actually see the way in which your sprite is creating a square. I hope that helps.